Hey guys, it's Alex here from Fox Hill Billy's Mongol Rally 2017 team. Just to let you know that we're having our first, believe it or not, our first, first beach fire. First barbecue of the trip. First barbecue of the trip. On the eighth day. Eighth day. It's a disgrace. We, who are we exactly? Basically, we have been actually wild camping every single night bar one. Um, but for some reason we've been buying pasta and... Cooking on gas stoves. Cooking on gas stoves and we, things. We haven't had a grill basically and today... We got one. Fortunately we passed a hardware store with grills galore outside and we got one. Yeah. And so we set up tonight on the beach nice and early. We've just finished the barbecue, so we're having a little cheeky fire. Probably slightly illegal, but yeah. What, what you can't see is that the sea is literally 10 feet that way. They can probably hear it. Though. Yeah, you might be able to hear it. Um, what did you have on the barbecue today, now? Oh, everything. What, what do we not have? We had barbecued chicken, which was wonderfully well seasoned with some chilli garlic and paprika and a bit of lime juice. Get the flame for everyone, can't see shit. Yep. Oh, have you put the stick of doom in the middle? So the stick of doom. The one big log we have. Basically, I've been feeling really uh, malnutritioned for the last few days, so we ha I, I decided to make myself a big old salad. Um, I had a salad and smoked salmon, but I didn't eat the smoked salmon, I just had a burger and so some chicken. Right. So I have Nars. So I'm gonna have the salmon tomorrow for breakfast. Gourmet breakfast. Um, so just to let you know about last night, we were in Albania Albania. last night? Yeah, Xingxie. Where were we? Xingxie? Shangxie? Shengjin. Shengjin. Somewhere. Yeah, Shengjin. Northern Shengjin. Albania. Just across the coast from Montenegro, um, we we dropped Jack off our hitchhiker Lovely in, hitchhiker. in what Skoda or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he found a train station, so we dropped him off there, and then hopefully he's still alive. Yeah, bless him. Pray for Jack. He's 20 years old from Taiwan, barely speaks English, and. He was an all-round yoki yoki. He was all around an incredible Very person. Yoki. We stopped mainly because he had the biggest smile you've ever seen. Yeah. But felt kind of bad dropping him off in the middle of rural Albania. But I think he's probably gonna be fine. He completely would have been in us here right now. Yeah. yeah. We were with him for two days and those were two great days. So. Amazing, amazing. Good yeah. egg. Um, and then we did a night drive through Albania and the roads were horrific so we couldn't get any sleep in the back. Yeah, worst drive night, night drive yeah. ever, I think. Continuous, had, continuous back alleys, bumpy yeah. roads, like off terrain. We've had some bad night drives but that was... That was the worst. worst. So after I started the night drive and did about, what, four hours or something. That was lame, and we got lost several times because new motorways are being built that basically are on the maps but weren't open yet, um, or the other way around there's a motorway that's not even there anymore, and it's shit got ridiculous, um, but then... Whole holes, holes in the middle of the road, just yeah, out of yeah. nowhere, and My also... took over, and then I fell asleep for a bit. I woke up to my head being mashed against the ceiling because we were on some road that wasn't even a road anymore and basically we were just driving along some gravel path that was apparently a main road to uh, where were we had in Greece at the time. To the Greece and border. That, that was what, about five miles long or something? Yeah. So basically no sleep was had. No sleep. And it was horrible. One thing to point out, um, there's an incredible amount of stray dogs in Albania, more Albania than Greece, and they use them as guard dogs. We would, we, many, many times we've been driving down 
um, legitimate roads and out of nowhere dogs will run out barking screaming at you and when it's five in the morning pitch black and you're not expecting it and some big dog comes <laughs> bounding know. over especially when you got the window open <laughs> <laughs> they, they came, came bounding over, over. <laughs> god maybe I'll cut to that <laughs> nah, you're fine but yeah the other point about Albania, they have more petrol stations per capita than any Anywhere. other nation in the world. True fact. True fact. Another true fact is cats only meow when people are about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. And I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> so what is our plan for tomorrow? But no, off to Athens tomorrow, and then we're going to catch a ferry to Mykonos. Yeah. That is the plan, or new planned route. Okay, so yeah. about, what, a 250 kilometre drive yeah. from... Another painfully long drive. Thessaloniki, is it? Yeah, we've come round to Thessaloniki. No, yeah. one, no, one knows, no one knows how to pronounce this town. Yeah, they do. Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki. We got it. Um, and we've headed south from there into Halidiki. Yeah, Halidiki. Um, which is lovely, beaches are great, but it's not quite as Grecian as we'd imagined, maybe. So we're going to head towards Athens in search of, uh, I don't know, ruins, uh, more cultural experiences, and some hummus. Some bloody hummus. Yeah. Nowhere around here How has hummus. How long did it take you, Remy, to find some hummus? Yeah, hummus. Two damn long. It's not this hummus central, there's just no hummus to fucking anywhere. We're in Greece, there's no hummus. How very, very good. No, to be fair, a bit of, bit of nice hummus would go down a treat. We've been eating the same shit every day. Fuck. Stop playing. Anyway, guys, um, this is our camp spot. I'll try and get a picture for you in the morning to show you what it looks like in daytime. Speaks in a bit. Bye.